Hi everyone, I'd like to <laughs> go with you uh, to see this uh, art journal that I finished. I'm really uh, happy with it, especially that it was made in a brochure. And some of the pages here are on video, so you can also check them out. And I really wanted you to see how that was uh, what it was before. That's the before, this is the after. It's just a promotional brochure for a bank and it, I picked it because it has really nice thick pages although they are a, a glossy it still can be used you just need to send it a little bit if you want to paint on top then you need gesso but if you are just doing some collaging then you don't need even the gesso just a little bit of sanding of the pages and I in some of the pages I even used some of the words that I already had on the pages so a cover the cover I made from <laughs> fake a uh, tiles that these are plastic they are fake tiles from the cheap store that have adhesive in the back so I just cut some of them and went with tissue crumpled tissue paper on top and then just acrylic paint and some dry brushing with gold that's it that's the uh, the cover uh, this page is on video so you can uh, check it out I uh, just experimented with some uh, tissue paper and some I have done here some texture <laughs> with <laughs> with paste and stenciling and then I again went over it with some uh, I don't know if you can see some uh, silver uh, rub on or so, like wax or something like that so this is and here I've got some pieces from the paper napkin this page is just scraps and as you can see I've uh, left the words from the original page and I just tore all kinds of painty paper I had used some doilies and on top of dyed the doilies and on top of the doily here I stenciled don't remember what I've done here I can see I have some texture from some kind of net this is from cut from a magazine part paper napkin there is some stamping here and it's either watercolors or <laughs> I don't know some kind of pigment that I've sprayed and let it drip what have I done here uh, I oh I know <laughs> it's hard to remember um, this was on the original page and I stamped I had a dream catcher so I stamped a dream catcher here in the background some a lot of stamping here I've used watercolors and the ones that come in tubes and just put them down in one uh, one side of the page and smoosh them like that that's the only thing I've done that's the background again words from the background and I just had fun with putting some um, acrylic paint in the background and then just going over and over with stenciling in several colors just have fun, had fun with it okay leftover I had leftover <laughs> uh, pieces uh, of this denim uh, scrapbook paper so I just uh, went around and put piece, the, the pieces in the background and this is from a painty paper that I've done uh, to look like rust so I've cut some um, with a punch some <laughs> images whatever <laughs> shapes and made this and then went with 
some acrylic paint this bronze acrylic paint and add it to the background so it will look a little bit more grungy hate this page something just didn't work here I tried again and again to change the colors and it just didn't work so I have left it this is it I'm not touching it it will be left like this okay lot of uh, lots of layers here I started with some uh, paper in the back little scraps of paper that I've glued and then I've made some texture again with stencil and paste and stamped all over and this is another uh, stencil I've used here just a lot of elements that just came uh, together okay lots of uh, pieces from uh, book pages in the background uh, this is all stenciling and there is some uh, stamps in the back that were or I've stamped originally on the book pages and after I have finished I wanted it a little bit more antique or vintage so I just took a brown uh, acrylic paint uh, thinned it down with water and went all over uh, this page another scraps lots and lots of uh, leftovers from uh, jelly prints that I just uh, put all uh, around each piece uh, just um, made some gold border and with a white I think it's white it doesn't look quite just doodled on each a uh, piece and in some of, of the places went out of the piece just so it would look a little bit more organic and not just everything inside the tiles okay this one I've um, taken a lot of pieces from my faux handmade paper glued them in the back and stenciled this image and all this on a paper napkin so I can put it on this it had a lot of texture so the only way to stencil on top of it was to do it on uh, the backing of a paper napkin and then glue it on top of all the texture so this is it <laughs> that's my original page in a brochure and just because there is time I want to show you another one this is a very small one and I've showed you how to make this a this was made just from book pages and I had a lot of fun playing with it especially because it's so small sometimes you have little bit of leftovers and you just don't <laughs> can't uh, throw them and they are always lying on my desk so this is the this is the place for them and I don't need to uh, overthink it and I'm just having fun each time putting the leftovers from uh, other pages all these are leftovers from pages that I've done and it's really fun it's and liberating because you don't have to overthink it and just put down some pieces so this is it I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it gave you some ideas and that you will do your own arginaling in whatever you've got on hand Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.